Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Colchester Kriegspiel with me Dave Pumphouse. It's half ten and now we are resolving the orders and actions. It's exciting times but I'll get there, I'll get there. I did actually forget last turn that uh, Colonel Whaley over here could have actually been shot by, by, by these guns. 500 meters, I mean it's, yeah, it's fairly long distance, but they'll still do some damage, so, if they hit that is, so let's fire for effect, it's good effect, and the damage is a 6, wow, good effect with a damage of a 6, okay, they'll take, they'll take some damage, wow, okay, let's uh, roll the bridge. They need a two or more. Can they do it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. The The bridge is fixed. It will blow next turn and everyone will know about it. And uh, an interesting de development from Sir Thomas Honeywood, the player. He has directed Honeywood's regiment to continue to Boxted Road. They'll get there too late uh, now. Far, far too late. Um, there's nothing he could have done about it though. But it will make an interesting fight over by Broomheath uh, when, when he redirects uh, Honeywood's regiment. They might even try and attack the gate. But he's actually brought his Cook's regiment and some Dragoons. I've said that they've left the horses back in the vicinity of Thomas uh, Honeywood. And he's got a nice little skirmish force. Only 50 men traipsing across Broom Heath. And he's probably going to set up around round here and start blasting into the gate. Lord Capel has actually come outside. His orders came this morning. But he wants to still be in earshot of St Mary's Battery. Now... St. Mary's Battery will fire on Ingleby, number one. I'm going to say Fairfax is amongst this regiment. And I'm, I'm maybe going to try and teach Fairfax a lesson for being so up front. I mean, I admire him leading from the front. But if he does that, then we'll have to roll a casualty uh, for, for him. But St. Mary's has to pass the Humpty Dumpty check. So, if it rolls a 1, it falls through, it's a 5. So, it passes, fires for effect, a 3, it's a bad effect, but the damage is a 6. Right, so that will definitely do some damage on Ingleby's regiment. He is in the vicinity. We can take this dice, if it hits... Yeah, I think if it's a five, it's it's a light wound. If it's a six, it's a kill. It's a two, so it it doesn't kill Fairfax. We could have lost a player there. I could have had to give poor old Jan a message and say, "Mate, you're too too close near the front. You you've been killed by Humpty Dumpty." But we've got uh, Major Delbra, who I've actually decided to create a new player for. This this force is now effectively an independent uh, command of its own. Major Delbro and the Tower Regiment with some t with some guns. Effectively, Tower is supposed to be part of Barkstead, but Barkstead's too far away. Fairfax can't see them through the bushes. They're independent unless we brought them into Thomas Honeywood's uh, command. <clears throat> um, but they're 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 marching out. They're marching forwards. They've been told to attack. Uh, so by the time our uh, other armchair dragoon who we've invited to, to play as Major Delbra comes in they'll they'll be engaged and then he'll have to sort that out. But this is where the action is. So we're gonna fire across the line and then because they still got movement we're gonna have all these regiments engage in push of pike and, and then see what the royalists do. Unfortunately, Barkstead, I mean, his his orders were a little bit confused. So, we've had Coleman come back. He's checked the east side. There's no danger. 
because what Barksters was saying is if this cavalry engages I'm going to engage them if they move towards the town I'm going to move off the ridge it was it was conflicted it was all ifs and buts and because they stayed still Barksters you've you've stayed still for the last 20 minutes I might I might try and you know if, if this attack goes badly I might say look Barksters you need to make a move you've got cavalry now on, on your flank although it's only a little bit what do you want to do do you want to join the attack or do you, do you want to just sit there so we'll have Ingleby's regiment firing I believe fairly fairly long range not extreme range but long enough so that's uh, 60 120 about about 200 meters 190 to 200 meters so muskets are going to open up on the ranks for a three on Charles Lucas's volunteers and then they will move up into push of pike so there's a melee there you're probably gonna have to copy that boom 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 push a pike melee actually these horses have been asked to to form up on the flank here move them out of the way cannons on to number three Charles Lucas's volunteers let's fire for effect they've moved up it's a six so it's good effect uh oh oh and a six damage oh god Charles Lucas's volunteers number three gets hit hard with the cannons poor bastard right let's uh let's let's shoot back with with these uh, battery guns then actually um let's take take a take a blue dice they're gonna be shooting at at the center regiment i i would think ingleby's number two and uh they are actually we should really check the distance on that one it's uh what two hundred and fifty meters so should be around oh yeah two hundred and fifty back from these battery guns let's fire for effect good effect with a five not bad not bad at all some people are definitely going to go down there and what we'll do is we'll fire on Charles Lucas's regiment with this dice again the damage is a four okay and then this here Charles Lucas's number four regiment it's going to get actually we'll have to move him up into push of pike and these two guys are going to fire their guns a three and a one so could could have been worse what I'll do is I'll move the smoke up Fairfax is, is joining Ingleby's regiment there and the smoke coming back from the cannons and then they're going to engage and push a pike he's going to come at them from the flank so we'll have to pause the video here and see what happens to be honest Colonel Bird could probably give a, uh, a fire on, on Barks's regiment they haven't been told to fire but it stands to reason that that's what they'll do. So, you know, got got to give got to give the royalists a chance here. It's all in, it's all engaged, all hands to the pumps. Fire with a three. Right, pop pop pop. So not without some damage, but they haven't been told to advance, but they have fired. I think Parliament is definitely going to be. Repulsed here, especially because they haven't got Barkster's support, and um, I think uh, Fairfax has already realised that 
the Royalists are going to attempt to defeat them in, in detail. Um, and to that I say, well, you, you, you should have maybe concentrated your forces just a little bit more and punched rather than spread them thin like you have. But yeah, let's, let's stop the video here. Let's do the uh, casualties and then we'll deal with the melees. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. First off, allow me to say that we had to make a correction. Ingleby number one is not moving up. Fairfax has, has told him to be left of the guns. So they just fired, they, they didn't move in. Also, we'll be kind because Charles Lucas, he's been, he's been a great little role player. He's had his men singing. Now, while they took two shock, because they're in high spirits, I'll, I'll be kind. And I'll reduce the shock for him, all right, mate? I'll reduce the shock. They are untrained volunteers, but their, their spirits are high. They've been singing on that ridge. I reckon we should give it to them. Actually, I'm, you know what? I'm just going to delete that smoke. It's pissing me off. Right. Now. Now we roll for melee. So we'll have... Well, I'll tell you, actually, I'll tell you the casualties. So first of all, number two, because it was extreme range, these, these aren't the most reliable muskets. Even with the plus one on the three at extreme range, maybe I could have said that, you know, new model army and everything, they, they've been trained to fire at effective range rather than long but for this one you know he's by the guns he hasn't told him to move forward two men seems seems quite harsh and and maybe even soft on, on casualties but I mean these weapons they weren't built for long range engagements and the shorter range that you are the, the more the casualties um, mount up. And yeah, they weren't actually all that accurate to begin with. Uh, I'm sure there will probably be comments in, in previous videos and saying, oh, you know, why why have you got a big old cannon only doing a couple of damage on, on the men? I mean, even that hit took, took six men away. It's a big cannon, but bad effect. Maybe a bit of shrapnel got... Um, some guys on the edge of the line, you know, and the Civil War wasn't all that brutal. You know, the the, the casualties weren't weren't crazy, so we're, we're trying to keep it as historical as possible. Now, Ingleby's regiment from that hit, effective range, pretty much, with the six battery guns, took a loss of eighteen men, tore a hole right through the fucking ranks but they've closed and they've engaged in push a pike Charles Lucas regiment yeah he, he's losing men quick but we'll actually you know what we'll, we were we will he, he lost a, even even though <laughs> I've got to have to I'm gonna to have to give it to him I mean you've lost nearly a yeah a sixth of your force your men are dropping quick in that regiment there Charles Lucas I, I I wanted to give you the, the, the benefit there, but I, I can't. These two, they'll be okay though. Um, with the one, it made it up to a two. It was a whiff, and then the four, we just applied the same result on, on that flank. Like I said, th these muskets aren't great. But where it, where it matters is, is the push of pike. So what we'll have is, uh, we'll, actually we'll do right to left this time around. Oh. Right, never mind. So we'll have these two against uh, the volunteers, although they are untrained, so they'll be taking a minus one, whereas these guys are new model infantry, so they'll be at a plus one. We'll have to see what the result is here. A six and a two, so that goes up to a seven, that goes up to a three, and that goes down to a three. Pretty, pretty beat up. Um, and then we'll have Ingleby number two versus these guys. Ooh, another seven versus a two. Jesus Christ. I tell you what, we'll also get rid of the disrupteds. They do keep their shock. 
uh, for, for another uh, round or two. We'll, we'll decrease the shock as per 15 minutes if they're off the line. Um, but they're, 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 they're still getting together. They took a big hit. They, you know, they, they, they might be able to do one more charge, but after that, they're out. I mean, there's only 47 men. Four, well, 43 men left. Um, so yeah, that, that's that's the melee, that's the push of the pike. It's all down to whether the Earl of Norwich now wants to commit Colonel Bird and, and push him against uh, Barkstead there, and we're going to have to see if um, Barkstead wants to join the fight. But um, yeah, the, the Royalists, they look like they're just dealing with them in, in detail uh, now, which will probably swing against the Parliamentarians. But uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's go back and, and sort out the casualties with those two roles. So yeah, there there you have it. Everyone's engaged. I'm I'm wondering I'm wondering now whether those plus ones will certainly make a difference against the the Royalist infantry, as uh, they do have a reserve, and and a second line. Colonel Colonel Bird over here has already got engaged. I reckon Charles Lucas, if he if he's got any sense about him, he'll he'll, he'll pull back, and hopefully the Earl of Norwich will help him out and. Tell his boys to, to move forward and then th yeah that will be the, the the deciding factor this this melee is just, is yeah it's going to be over in another 20 minutes or, or so and um, I, I I think it will all depend on on the next roles and the next moves from from the royalists and obviously if, if Barkstead come comes into support now obviously George Lyle might uh, pull a regiment back as, as well and tell them to, to, to support and it does depend on on the batteries they, they seem to be doing the most damage and the most shock but that's that's what we like that's that's what we wanted so we'll we'll be back here in in 10 minutes and we'll see where the action swings. Until next time, ladies and gents, ciao for now.